continue the conversation now with Larry Pratt, the executive director of Gun Owners of America, and Rick Unger, the host of Steel and Unger, or co-host of Steel and Unger on Sirius XM Radio. So, Larry, we heard Rick just saying this was just too much of a stretch, that it was absurd at all to contemplate this president utilizing executive action to somehow abridge the Second Amendment. Uh, well, you obviously have uh, something you want to say about it. Go things, ahead. Yes, things are already underway. What we didn't get into in the last segment is that the president has had Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives agents going uh, from gun store to gun store, photocopying the firearms transactions records of gun dealers, just their whole book, whatever they have making photocopies, sometimes taking a day or longer to copy all of the records. And that gives them more than just what the instant background check gives them. That lets them know that Larry Pratt bought a gun. But that doesn't tell them that I bought a 32 semi-automatic or something like that. That's what they will find out when they make these photocopies of all the transaction records at the gun store. They're doing it. They're doing, they have been doing it for some time. And it's one more example of the lawlessness of this president who just frankly uh, doesn't seem to care. And the Republicans, unhappily, haven't given him any reason to care. So uh, under existing law, is BATF within its rights to come in and demand the ledger and the book of business and all those receipts? They can go and look for a record if they're pursuing information about a crime that has committed to see if they can connect a a gun at a crime scene with a record in a dealer's book. That's all they can do. They can't make, under federal law, wholesale copies such as they're making, but they're doing it. So they're out there making wholesale copies. Rick Unger, that sounds ominous. Yeah, it sounds horrible. It does. Unfortunately, I've heard this charge a few times, went and looked into it. And, and let me preface this. I think this is important. I am not anti-gun. I, I am on record as acknowledging that the founders did intend individual ownership of guns in the Second Amendment. I, you know, I am on record saying that it's important that, that liberals understand and appreciate the cultural aspects of gun ownership and all the things that it means to people who do it. But you know, you gotta make arguments in support like Second Amendment arguments that are legitimate. I can't seem to find these many instances of the government doing this. More to the point, while it may, if it were happening, I, I don't want to call Larry a liar, don't know Larry, but if it is happening and if it is a violation of VAT rules, which is not clear, it is not a violation of Second Amendment rights. This is so overstated. We've had six years of this. Guess what? If Obama wanted to get your guns, the time to do it would have been after the shootings in Connecticut. And you know what? He didn't do it. Get over it. I know you want gun sales to go up. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I really do. But come on, let's stop BSing the American public. There are good reasons to support gun ownership. Why not just stick to that and leave the silly stuff out? Larry there Pratt, last stuff. word to you, sir. Go ahead. There was an effort after Newtown uh, to expand the background check to all transactions. Not by executive order, Larry. No, it wasn't. It was by an act of Congress that failed. Uh, but that tells you that there is a constant effort to get the control of more and more information and the shall not people would like more regulation that is that shall that's not, not illegal thingy doesn't seem to get in the way of either congressional or administration uh, folks who desire to control the firearms of the apparently American it people. It did get in the way. It, pa it didn't pass, Larry. Apparently, it did get in the way. It didn't pass because I, the Guns of America was the singular entity that put the kibosh to it. Even the NRA had supported it. And yet it, it didn't pass. It didn't I mean, pass. Are you going it's to call everything that doesn't pass in the Congress illegal, unconstitutional? Some bills get through, some don't. This one didn't. Nothing changed. Well, and hang you on a second. Time out here as we, as, we head down, as we head down the stretch. To you both, it's been a great discussion. Uh, Larry Pratt, Gun Owners of America, I want to have you back real soon. Rick Unger, it's always good to have you. But Thanks, the Uncle mere suggestion of some of this stuff requires vigilance, and we've certainly had a discussion this morning. We look forward to continuing it in the days ahead, and America's Forum continues after this.